We're on chapter three, lesson seven. Essential question, how are multiplication and division related? Well, they're opposites, just like factors and multiples are opposites. So first, it's going to explain some factors for us. In example number one, Mrs. Navarro is arranging desks in her classroom. Oh, it's a desk on wheels. Wouldn't that be nice sometimes? There are 12 desks. How many ways can she arrange the desk so that the number of desks in each row is the same? To find the different arrangements of desks, break down or decompose 12 into its factors. Think of factors that result in the product of 12. Use factors to write a number sentence for the arrays shown. So the different numbers that multiply to equal 12 are the factors of 12 that we're decomposing into. So this array here is helping us figure out one equation. We have one row and 12 columns. So 1 times 12 equals 12. So these two are factors of 12. And yes, one and the other number will always be a factor. Now we've got a different array. We've got two rows. And we've got six columns. And two times six equals 12. If I were to count out all those, I would still have 12, just the same as this is. And now I've got three rows and four columns, because three times four also equals 12. So one times 12, two and six, and three and four are all the factors of 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12 are the factors of 12. So the desk can be arranged in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 different ways. And they're just throwing, showing a thinking bubble over here because if I were to take this line and switch it, I would have 12 rows and one column. So 12 times 1. 6 times 2. They're just doing the commutative property here and explaining that um, we could basically rotate each of these arrays and have the equivalent um, factors. So that was factors. In example 2, we're going to talk about multiples, which are sort of the opposite of factors. I like to think of them that way. A multiple is a number that is the product of that number and any whole number. For example, 15 is a multiple of 5 because it is composed or made of three groups of 5. 15 is also a multiple of 3. So all the numbers listed in row 7 or column 7 are multiples of 7. Shade the multiples of 7 on the chart. So, oops, we're talking about 7, so this Ooh, it's not going to let me do that. I'm going to have to do one at a time. This row going down are all multiples of 7. And, I'm sorry, that column going down, I said the wrong thing. This row across. Boy, it does not like that. Okay, so we've got our 7s column and our sevens row and all the numbers that are highlighted here are the multiples of seven and that's why we um, knowing the multiples is really helpful and that's why we I taught those songs about the multiples so for if you remember correctly seven was um, to this old man 7 14 21 28 and 35 42 49 56 63. 70, 77, and 84. Did I do that? Hope I did that right. Okay, so let's get back to the question. The first five multiples of 7 are, we're not going to worry about, well, it has 0, okay, 0, 
7, 14. I'm just going to read across 0, 7, 14, 21. Or read down 0, 7, 14, 21. And the next last one is 28. And 28 is a multiple of 7 because it is composed of, well, let's see, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 groups of 7. So I just drew out 4 groups, 1, 2, 3, 4 groups. Each group has 4, 5, 6, 7 in it. And if I count all these, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So if I have four groups with seven in each group, one, two, I have 28. And this is an easier, faster way to show the same thing as this picture, which took a little bit to draw. So when you start doing your independent work, please make sure you pay attention to which type it's asking you for. First, one and two, they want the factors, which was what we saw in the example on page 173, this. And for the second part, three and four, they're asking you for the multiples which are going to be in the rows, of, rows or columns of your multiplication chart. So pay attention as you go through and you'll save yourself the trouble of um, having to go back and redo because you didn't read what the problem was asking for first. And as always, get through these and please make sure you get to those word problems because this is um, good practice and challenge.